I like being out with younger people. It keeps me in touch. <laughs> These wilderness foxes don't miss a step, nor an opportunity to soak in the unspoiled scenery of the Tennessee Savage Gulf on the Cumberland Plateau. Back in 1999, the dream of providing an opportunity for mature women to enjoy the outdoors together was birthed by two grandmoms. It came about when Mae Woods, at 50 years old, decided to complete her master's degree at Belmont University. She was given a class assignment to develop a business plan and called on her good friend and fellow nature lover, Maureen Reitzman, for help. Went to Maureen and said, I gotta do a business plan. And she said, you know, I have always wanted to take women like us hiking and camping. That's not the extreme, you know, uh, six mile, uh, 10 mile hikes or whatever. Just go at your own pace kind of hike. We kind of started thinking about, we could do something with this. And we came up with Wilderness Foxes. Today, that classroom assignment has blossomed into a unique opportunity for women from a broad range of backgrounds. Some are still working while others are retired. Together, they can escape the responsibilities of jobs, parenting, grandparenting, and housework to find freedom in the open wilderness. So how old do you have to be to become a wilderness fox? Well, to be quite honest, I could participate but I just barely make the cut. The oldest fox, 79 years old. <laughs> just goes to show you're never too old to be out here. I think that's what is so good about this. You don't feel your age or you don't even think about your age. And as long as I can come and keep up with the younger people that are here, I enjoy that. I don't have to think about my own aches and complaints and, <laughs> and it works for me. I feel like it's a privilege to be able to be out here at 72. Karen Luther's mother died of a heart attack at the young age of 51. Karen's loss has motivated her to become a registered dietitian. This retired senior understands firsthand the importance of staying healthy, active, and taking good care of herself. Karen's grateful she can enjoy her wonderful growing family of three sons and three grandchildren and her foxy friends. It's just gorgeous. The beauty of the world and, and there is so much in it and it's so spacious and so minute and you see all of that, you know, from a tiny wildflower to something out there. Yes, <laughs> I enjoy it. Just to be clear, these amazing women over 40 did not take any shortcuts on the mostly uphill five mile trail. However, the fruit of their labor was worth it. Their reward? Greeter Falls. I like to do this because I think we are providing the ladies an outlet to enjoy nature, to introduce them to the beautiful state of Tennessee and all the parks and wilderness parks we have in this state. I feel like I'm sharing something that I love. I love the outdoors. I love sitting by a stream. And it's amazing to me that I can get people to do the same thing and they love it too. So it's very fulfilling, it really is, to know that we're providing a way for other women to do this. And see this, the vast, awe-inspiring landscape. Words can hardly articulate its majestic splendor. That brings a lot of joy to me to see them enjoying the outdoors. I hope that the ladies that join us gain a sense that they can do this. We have a ball. We love doing this. No one is ever too old to join the Wilderness Foxes. I am so very proud of being a Wilderness Fox. And I'm proud to have joined these inspiring women along this journey. On the trails of the Savage Gulf, I'm Eve Annunziato on Tennessee's Wild Side.